Hello everyone, this is Stevio, and we are back in Flint Hills. Back on the multiplayer server, and we are trying to put our stuff away. Gotta get this in here. Nice and neat. I have a little OCD when it comes to uh, parking my equipment. Yeah, close enough, I guess. Not exactly the greatest spot. Uh, is that turbo gonna wind down? Ooh, there it goes. I bet you guys forgot I even had this old thing right here. The Steiger. Yeah, here we go. Who the heck is driving in my yard? What the heck? Who the heck is this? What is going on here? What the... Okay, that is one unique van there. Oh, is that Farm Boy? I'm pretty sure that's Farm Boy. Well, uh, Farm Boy does have unique taste. I don't know, that's that's definitely not my taste, but uh, Farm Boy actually told me about a huge sale going on. You know, you all know my love. Of articulating tractors I mean look how many I have here I have uh, three of them so far uh, but there is a huge sale at Fairbanks implement they have one-of-a-kind very unique uh, rare four-wheel drive tractors sell going on Ooh, oh, oh don't tell farm boy I hit his uh, his mower there oops oops all right, back this up again. There we go. Got to get this stuff out of the snow a little bit. There. So on the Banshee, I put these uh, sand tires on the back. I'm hoping it'll be a little bit more fun spinning out, causing trouble, causing havoc like I always do. Let's see. Will we go anywhere? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I can't even. Oh, no, even the slightest move. Oh man. Oh. Oh, I'm think I'm I'm giving myself dizzy here. All right. All right. Well, according to Farm Boy, this thing is gonna happen right away. So we need to get there quick. We gotta figure out what are we going to drive. Will we drive the GMC or the Toyota? I would love to drive the Boss 302, but we got the white stuff all around. I don't think that would be the best. I've been itching to bring out my GMC murder van here. Yeah, yeah, that's probably why I didn't make too much fun of Farm Boy, because I kind of have the same van, but at least I didn't paint mine like a cow. I, I got to figure out a good uh, paint scheme to go. I bought it like this, so we actually got both of these vans for a really good deal. But the paint jobs on them ain't exactly uh, up to our standards, let's just say that. No, 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 we don't hang out at the schoolyards or anything like that or put free candy on our van. You don't have to worry about that. We just think it's cool. I mean, who doesn't think these vans are cool? Just watch uh, old school once. We're just... We're just living in the past here, living in the past. And look at all the snow. We got a lot of snow. You can see the snow on top of Grant's house up there. Yeah, there is a ton of snow around here. Yep, got to wake Grant up there. The good thing is we made a ton of money on selling our corn crops this year, so we, uh, it's probably a good idea because every time I end up going to one of these sales, I end up buying something. And I have really started to be kind of a collector. Uh, I kind of like it in the old, some of the old styles. So this has a lot of new and old. I know this is a John Deere dealership, but they brought in a whole bunch of other tractors trying to get uh, some PR down to the dealership, trying to get people in their door to buy and uh, they even have some uh, Case IH on their John Deere lot. I know, that's sacrilege. 
Oh man, they might get in trouble for that. Find a good time to go here. This is it right there. Now look. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, buddy. That was close. Now look at all them nice, beautiful, rare tractors. Damn. You just don't see these types of tractors every day. Poor things are all out in the snow right now. Alright, let's go down the lineup here. So first we have a very unique colored Steiger Turbo Tiger 2. Oh, yeah. This thing, it, it's a lot like our Steiger we have. So it almost looks exactly the same. Rims, the color is a little bit different. I think this has a different engine on it. I don't know if that's a Cummins or not. It kind of looks like a Cummins from here. Speaking about expensive, the 620 Case IH here. 20 years of making quad tracks here. Wow, I can't believe it's been that long. That thing is cool looking. The black hood, just how it's almost a flat black and everything. Whew. They have a, a green Steiger here. Oversized, huh? Doesn't really look oversized. That looks like a narrow uh, front end to me. But uh, very unique color scheme here. Looks like we got a lot of rare wear and tear on this thing. So, whew. Yeah, all these things need uh, washed up after the big snowstorm coming down. A, nine, a 9370 quad track. So this got to be one of the first quad tracks out there that Case made. I'm not positive, but it's got to be one of the few. One of the first years, or the first uh, five years at least, quad track. What in the heck is this thing? This looks like something that you would see in the logging community. Now that thing is giant. Look at them tires. I mean, not every day you see a spare tire put on the back of your truck there. Now, I mean, look at all this room we got here. I got plenty of room, side space here. I got a co-pilot seat. I don't know if I would like sitting on the side of this thing. Yeah, this, to be honest, this thing sounds almost like a semi Peterbilt, maybe a Kenworth. A International 4786 here. Kind of rare, kind of rare. Is that a V8 in there? It is a V8. You don't see a lot of V8s in tractors just because they really don't have the torque that a straight six has and everything. Apparently, the owner brought out their 747 LSWs on the side. I mean, that is, this big bud is serious. Is just a giant tractor. Look at that intercooler on the front of that thing. Just look at the Alice right beside it. Look how big that is. Even the Steiger, the case, on the other side. It dwarfs everything. It is one giant tractor. I mean, look at the size of them tires. Compared to that, that is just crazy. Sure does sound like it's raining around here. What the heck is going on here? I don't know. This uh, Massey here, this Sassy Massey, reminds me of uh, Grant's old uh, Sassy Massey he had a while ago. Another 903 V8 in it. Man, they did like them V8s apparently in that uh, them years of tractors. This poor 9RX here. Looks like a roll track, close to a roll track at least. It definitely has a lot of uh, wear and tear on this thing. This poor girl, it's a lot of wear. We got a, another roll track, a four or 420 roll track, Steiger quad track, oversized, huh? All right, buddy, we'll believe you. An 8440 here. Big, uh, looks like 800 duels on there. Has some aftermarket three-point hitch. Looks like something like that. Hmm. This looks a lot like uh, Grant's 9400. Hmm. 9320. That thing's pretty impressive looking too. Wow. 
Look at that bronze uh, muffler there on this 8960. Very impressive. I mean, the wheel weights on this thing and everything, whew, that thing is giant. Got a green star in here. Very unique sound to this. I kind of like it. I mean, I like it. I, I, I don't even know what that really sounds like, to be honest. Now, look at this thing. A Titan? I don't even know if I know what this is. A Titan? Who makes this? STR Titan. I mean, it kind of looks a lot like a, a Steiger. That one over there, the Tiger Steiger. The Titan? Not for sure if this is just... Uh, different style well i mean the interior is clean it's one of the better paint job tractors out there big bud now this i would really want so i could be just like the welker brothers it's too bad it it doesn't have a pto though that would have been awesome if it had a pto listen to this thing purr man i guess i'd have to figure out what exactly how to move this thing that is a different looking shifting mechanism there. Now, this Steiger is one unique looking Steiger. I don't know exactly how to even describe this. So it looks like we probably have two Steiger. Yeah, we have two engines with exhaust going up. Wow. It's almost like two of our Turbo Tiger 2s. Whoa. Listen to that thing start up. Wow. Wow, very neat. I mean, I guess you you don't have to have any problems. Can I even see my draw bar? I still can't see my draw bar in this thing. Look how far that front end is away from us. But I don't know if these two engines would just fight each other all the way. But wow, this is definitely a unique tractor here. Now we got a uh, 8860 here. Now listen to this thing. I mean, it it putters a little bit here. This thing is actually repowered Kinsey. I mean, look at that. Now that, that's a definitely a different engine in there. Oh, oh, oh. Is it gonna die? It sounded like it might die on us. It's still running. All right. What does that placard say? Diesel power, Cummins. All right. I love the front ends, that six light front end of these. Man, there is so many tractors. Obviously, the 747 isn't for sale, but that would be awesome if it was. But thank you all for watching. I will see you next time over here to see what I buy. So I wanted to test drive this old repower it out here. We got a giant chisel on the back. I'm trying to make sure I don't scratch any paint around here. Whew. Try to get out over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Butt slide, butt slide. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I am all over the place. Watch out, everyone. Watch out. Whoa. Whoa! Make sure to like the video. Thank y'all. Later.